Here's an LED project that I built partly in civilization and partly in the middle of the desert. The, uh, the main controller is an ESP8266, which is sending commands to four LED strips for a total of 480 pixels. A power source is a set of lithium ion batteries uh, enclosed inside the tube. There's a PVC core and a polycarbonate shell, so it's, I would say, call it fairly indestructible. Uh, the Wi-Fi interface lets you control brightness, patterns, and uh, whatever else I could think of. So there's a 3D printed end cap with a poorly located power switch, and that connects to the, uh, the battery clips. And the, the battery clips are also 3D printed and kind of compress around the batteries with uh, solder braid as the contacts and rubber bands hold everything together. So this worked pretty well and uh, I was kind of surprised that it, it did work so well. Um, the batteries, each battery is connected to its own LED strip. So uh, the strips are running off of the nominal voltage of the lithium batteries. On the other end, we have the, um, it's a Node MCU compatible board, which is connected to a USB power pack for five volt supply. And the uh, Node MCU compatible board runs on an, uh, it has an ESP8266, which essentially integrates a microcontroller with a Wi Fi interface. And I was able to get it to serve its own interface. Uh, it acts as an access point, and my phone can connect to it. It's using the fast LED library and four parallel 120 pixel strips, uh, which are arranged in a four star spiral that I think is about 7.2 turns per foot. Uh, I did use a spreadsheet to calculate how it should be arranged. So, I think it's pretty cool. I uh, hope you like it too. Um, feel free to comment if you want some more details on, on how you might be able to build something like this yourself.